In this video, we're going to test the uh, feature of flying with the, uh, using your Android phone. So I'm going to put the radio down, I'm not going to touch it. It's on manual mode, throttle to zero. I'm going to go to the virtual control and enable it. I'm going to go to the setting and uh, disable RC. Disable RC means I cannot use a radio to control my quadcopter or multi-rotor. And as soon as you disable RC, the propellers will start moving over there, you can see. You touch the auto takeoff. And as soon as it takes off, you can start controlling it using the cell phone. Or your Android device or your uh, iOS like Apple, iPhone, iPads. So uh, the touching the controls, that is clicks on either places, is gonna yaw left and right and up and down you can descend or ascend, okay? And these touches are distance sensitive, farther you touch, bigger the change gonna be, okay? And if you hold the circle in the center and drag it, you can actually fly it. Again, it's the distance sensitive, the farther you go, faster your quad or multi-rotor will fly. Even Mariam can fly it now. It's that easy. Only if she understands how to use a smartphone. <laughs> Mariam is totally not technical, I can tell you. But she is very, very professional on camera usage. All right, so you can see flying it with the cell phone is simple, tons of fun. Now I'm gonna go far again and come back and test the auto landing, uh, RTH and auto landing. Go farther, go farther. I'm not zooming on quad. Yeah, no need to zoom on quad because people need to see how far the quad is going. And you can see quad is over there hovering. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, settings, back landing, and the quadcopter is coming back. Oh, sorry, my F550 is coming back. That's a multi-rotor here. As soon as it touches down, you need to enable RC in settings so that it can turn off the motors. Here it is, coming back. Right where it took off from. Change the side. Are all okay, right? Then it, it's here. You can get a very quick zoom and zoom out. Okay. Mm. And then you get a good zoom when it's landing. As soon as it touches down, enable RC and you are done with your successful flight of your multi-rotor with YSX6 using your smartphone iOS based devices. So uh, I'm gonna um, switch to my radio mode and uh, I'm gonna change the batteries because I can see I have only 11.4 volts left and uh, after changing the battery we're gonna try the autonomous waypoint flight mode and see how it's behaving. 